Hi, this is Jen and thanks for joining me. Today I am creating 10 cards using the September 2019 Simon Says Stamp card kit. Um, the card kit is called Look for the Rainbows, I believe. Let me check. Yes, it's called Look for the Rainbows. And as of this video, the kit is still available. I'll go ahead and leave a link below if you are interested. Um, the kit came with this I think it's called a 3D embossing folder. And so um, I took the embossing folder and got my Catherine Pooler inks and did a rainbow of colors. So I'm using rock and red, orange twi twist, <laughs> orange twist. I think it's limoncello, limoncello, grass skirt, suede shoes, and grape crush. And I'm just taking my finger daubers and going over the kind of the circle pattern, the big and the small and then I'll go ahead and take my piece of paper white paper and put that in the embossing folder so the 3d embossing folder you run it through your machine um, on the at least on the Sizzix you run it through like you would an embossing folder except you only use one of the plates instead of two and so um, I went ahead and the sentiment is all in on one stamp and I didn't want it on one stamp. I wanted it all on one line, not underneath each other, if that makes sense. And so um, I went ahead and blocked off the, the top of the sentiment with a piece of all over post-it sticky note and inked it up in VersaFine black ink and stamped it on my paper. And then I'm going to do the word rainbows using the Catherine Puller inks that I used to do the, um, uh, that I used on the embossing folder. And I'm just taking this little, uh, it's like a little felt brush, I guess. And I'm just taking it and inking it up and putting it on the stamp. Um, it was the easiest for me anyhow to do it this way because I was able to get all the colors on there fairly easily. Um, and that's the first card. Fairly easy and quick. For the second card, I'm using a couple of pieces of the pattern paper that came in the kit and I'm going to be embossing it. So I use my embossing bag on this piece of pattern paper and I'm gonna use the floral stamp, which I use a lot in this um, video. <laughs> I use the florals a lot, and um, it's just a really super nice stamp set. I love the stamp set. Um, so I inked that up in VersaFine Claire, and that is cheerful, is the color. And then I am putting clear embossing powder on top of that. And I heat set that, and then I fussy cut the flower out and then I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment on the bottom of the card and then I also put it on the side. When I put it on the side it smeared the word heart a little bit and so to hide that I took one of the enamel sparkly things that came in the kit and um, it covered up that word. And then I'm taking another piece of the pattern paper from that same piece that I used for the flower and just making a stem and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere the panel to my card base and I'll take the flower piece and pop that up with some foam tape. Um, I also added a few other word strips from that same piece of pattern paper. One of them says air mail and then another one has a little date on it um, so I just added those and then I took some black acrylic ink and did some ink splatters on the card and that will complete that card. There's a few that are very, um, very quick uh, cards in this video and a few that took me quite a long time, like this one right here. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to do some no-line water coloring and I'm using to ink up the flowers and the stems. I am using um, a distress ink and dried marigold and the watercolors that I'm using are by Colore. I don't know if that's how you say that or not. Um, I have some watercolor pencils from the same brand and I really love them, although I don't use pencils all that often. Um, 
they're really pretty and so I had purchased these tubes because I didn't have any two watercolors and I thought I would give them a try and I really actually liked working with them I I've been trying to practice my coloring my watercoloring my alcohol marker coloring but it was time well spent um, I absolutely love water and I've been trying really hard to work at it and get better at it um, and I had recently watched a Debbie Hughes video which is the inspiration behind this card um, and she just has some awesome <laughs> um, works of art on her cards she is an amazing watercolorist and artist in general um, and so I just took some of the advice that she gave during one of her um, YouTube videos and um, tried to put that in effect on my card um, and one of the leaves I colored it to look like um, a closed petal flower so hopefully it looks like that. Um, I am using a piece of pattern paper on, and I've already adhered that to my card base. And I have splattered that with some of the Liquitex acrylic ink in gold. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and do my layout. And for this flower, I just put glue in the center so that the leaves or the petals were, um, yeah, and then that happened. <laughs> I thought I would leave that in there. I lost almost my whole brand new bottle of Liquitex white ink. So if it was another color, it wouldn't hurt so much. But white is something that you can use with everything. <sighs> but yeah. So anyhow, luckily it, didn't, it only got on some of the uh, leaves and not on the actual card. I would have been fairly upset. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going to take some of the Liquitex in white, what I have left, and splatter that on my card. I'm also going to use some of the Nouveau Gems that come in the kit and place that on my card using my um, Fine Tech glue. My red, I think it's called Red Top Fine Tech or something like that. <clears throat> my favorite glue so far right now for little spots and... Um, other than the glue pen for you know using in small spaces love 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 and then I'm going to put some Nouveau crystal drops in morning dew around the card and the sentiment hello and then I also put the hello mounted on a piece of the foil paper and that will complete that card So for the next card, I am using my Memento Black ink because I am going to be doing some alcohol marker coloring. And I'm using the two kind of, I don't know if that's called a bouquet, um, kind of the curved florals. And I'm just using my Winsor Newton. I don't leave the a lot of the coloring in only because I'm just doing one marker for each petal I'm not doing any blending I'm not I just wanted it to be quick since I spent so much time on that watercolor card so um, I just did one color no blending no shading really and then I'm going to distress the edges oh and I fussy cut the bouquets out and then I'm using um, this is antique linen and I put that around the card panel which is going to be adhered to the card base and then I also put that around the floral piece and then I am inking up in my Versafine Black ink thinking of you the sentiment and then I popped these floral pieces up with foam tape and I am just placing those And then I added a few little um, drops of this Gold Lux by Nuvo. And then I believe I use another one, the Fairy Wings maybe. And put that on the card. And then I used some sequins from my stash and that will complete that card. So this one was pretty quick too. The coloring didn't take um, too long to do. So the next card is a really fun card. I am using these Prima water soluble oil pastels. Um, and I, use, I realize I use a lot of different mediums in this video and um, 
the reason I'm doing that is because I, you know, a lot of times I have this stuff and I want to use it. But, you know, any of the products that I use, you can use whatever you have on hand, whether that's watercolor, pencils, um, you know, you can use your Distress inks to do the ink smushing. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be these colors. Um, I'm just um, having fun working with some of the different products that I have and trying to use up supplies that I have in my stash, which is something I've been trying to do a lot lately because I feel like I buy this stuff and then it sits there and I don't use it. So anything that you have in your stash, um, you can use. You don't have to go out and buy anything. Um, so that's the good thing about watching YouTube videos is, you know, there's great ideas out there, but you can always usually find something that you have on hand to make um, most of what is out there. Um, and so I just did some ink smushing on a piece, I believe it's a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor card. And then I took the sentiment and gold embossed that, heat embossed that in gold actually, and then backed it against uh, one of the pieces of gold foil paper that came in the kit. And then I'm going to take the circles that match the, or the, I don't know what, are these enamel dots or, um, that match the colors of the splatter. And that will complete that card. Another really quick and easy card. So I wanted to use the foil and usually I don't like like out there stuff like that. Um, it's not very subtle. And so um, I wanted to use them really badly but I wasn't sure how and so I thought I would take the foil paper and cut out the squares and emboss those so that the circles, the big circles in the embossing folder, I could use those on a card. And crazy, but the only one, I only got one to come out in a perfect circle. I must not have had the the foil squares on the embo in the embo embossing folder correctly because every one of them it has like a piece missing from it which is why I did this layout because I kind of put them around and then the full circle I went ahead and put that in the center and it kind of covers up those imperfections <laughs> so um, I went ahead and adhered those on my card and created a black border from dies in my stash and then I went ahead and stamped up the sentiment in Versifying Black Onyx and I did actually heat set that also. And then I popped up the middle circle. And that completes that card. I think it's really pretty. That embossy folder is kind of cool. It does give a 3D effect. Um, so I've already, for this next card, actually the next two cards, I um, went ahead and stamped up the images in Versifying Claire in Nocturne. And I'm taking my Micron pen, and this is a size 03, and I'm just modifying the leaves and the flowers to give it a different look than the other cards that I've made. Because I use the flowers in a lot of the cards. Um, I don't use the butterflies or the birds <laughs> or anything else, but the, I really love the flowers. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And so I'm kind of um, modifying the stamped image with my black micron pen, which is waterproof. So um, when I use my markers on it, it, it doesn't smudge or smear. And so here I, I've already kind of drawn a little decorative edge on all of the leaves. And now I am just taking the stems and making them a little bit thicker and filling those in with the black marker. It's just another way you can use your stamps. I don't modify stamps. I like mixing stamps up, but I don't modify them often. Um, I just thought it was fun to do it on this one. So on the flower petals for the this flower, I'm, I'm trying to use the lines, some of the lines that are already on the flowers, 
but I'm basically just drawing a thin line on the edge of the flower and then making um, lines that are going to variate between black and white. So those will be filled in with um, either black or they'll be left white. And I go ahead and speed this up just so you can see what I've done. I probably didn't need to leave all of this in here. Um, and when when I speed my video up this fast, because I think it's like eight times or something, it gives my editing program problems and it freezes. So I'm talking, but I have no idea what part of the video I'm actually on because it's frozen. So there it goes. So for the small little flower petal, um, I just gave it some little kind of scalloped edges. Um, I don't end up using that flower at all in e any cards that I created for this video. And then on the um, last, the bigger flower, I just went ahead and kind of used the lines that were in the flower and made little circles. And for the coloring portion, I'm using my Tombow brush markers. And usually when I use my Tombow brush markers, I am doing, um, I'm using them with water. So on this card, I wanted the full color. I didn't want it diluted by water. So um, I am not doing any blending out of the color. I am just using the color straight on the card. And I don't know that I've ever really used my Tombows like this, even though if you could totally do it. I always blend them out with water or blend them with another color. Um, and I really love how vibrant the colors are. The only portion that I did use my water pin on was on the um, petals that had that little kind of edge flipped up. After I finish the color on the first flower, I go ahead and take my black Tombow, and this is N15, I believe, and just go and color the edge of the petals where I, I made that um, design, I guess, with my Micron pen. And then I also use the black marker to define some of the lines on the flower petals just to give it a little more character. And then I will move on to the next flower. Um, for this flower, I am going around, I am using my color around the little white dots. I want them to remain white. And then on the leaves, I go ahead and just color in the leaf portion and not the little design that I added, but I will cut that out. So I fussy cut all of the images out. And, uh, for some reason I thought I was going to put all these on one card and I tried it and it did not look okay. So um, I end up just using the two flowers, the two bigger flowers on two different cards. Um, so for this one I went ahead and I took a piece of the pattern paper that was in the kit. Um, actually I took two pieces. One of them is one that has um, some really light script on it and then on the bottom is a portion of the butterfly pattern paper and then I inked up the stamp or the uh, stem and stamped that on my card and then I just did the same thing as I kind of did with the flower with the stem in putting a black and white stem and I popped that up and then I'm going to take my black acrylic ink and make some ink splatters and then inked up the sentiment which says everything will be okay and that completes that card and then for the center of the flower I used my um, Nouveau stone drops in white and I also splattered some white acrylic paint I believe on that card um, so for this next card I went ahead and took the piece of pattern paper with the leaves and on it and I stamped up a set of the leaves upside down on the stem and colored that in with my Winkastella, that is the green Winkastella. And then I filled in the center of this flower with purple Winkastella, added the sentiment that says always here for you. And that finishes that card. It was pretty quick because I already had the image um, colored. <laughs> <clears throat> 
So the last several cards are just really quick. I think at this point I was just like, I want to be done. I'm tired of the stamp set. <laughs> um, so I took a couple of pieces of the pattern paper and then I took a die from my stash. Um, the Alta New die is, uh, it's called Fine Frame Rectangles. And I just took a strip for the hearts of the top of the piece of pattern paper, you know, the part they usually throw out and then use the sentiment and uh, white embossed on black and a few of the little enamel dots and that completes that card. Um, this is another really quick card. I really like the cloud background. I so wanted to use it with the rainbows, but that didn't happen. So I took the sentiment actually from one of the kind of journal cards that come on the reverse side of one of the pieces of pattern paper. And so I put one down, glued one down, and then I popped the other one up. And then I have the birds on what, from one of the pieces of pattern paper on the bottom, and that will complete that card. Really super quick and easy card to do. And that is it, my 10 cards. I kind of feel like I ran a marathon, to be honest. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this kit. It is an awesome, awesome kit. Beautiful stamp set. And I hope you had as much fun watching the video as I had creating the cards. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Um, I will have all the cards posted on my blog. I also post some of the cards I make on Instagram. Sometimes I post cards on Instagram that I don't make a YouTube video for. So um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can check out my contact information below. Um, that is it for me. Thanks again for joining me and I hope to catch you later. Thanks so much.